Alan, did I answer your questions? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, we have a national chain. I've established a relationship with them. Some of their franchisees do sale leasebacks, but we've had some very con candid conversations and essentially uh, the property we will be looking at tomorrow is a vacant Kentucky Fried Chicken. The owners uh, have had it sitting vacant for about three years. They want uh, an incredible amount of money for it. They want $2.1 million for a 15 year old Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh. It's, it's in good shape, but that's just the Denver market. It's crazy expensive here. So my negotiations with the seller and then with the national chain have been, how do we, how do we get this price down? Um, so there's been some education going on with the seller. He's, uh, there's a bit of a language issue. He's from India. His brother-in-law, who's a teacher, lives here. Uh. And so we've been, it's been slow, but we're trying to get him to understand that the cost of money has gone way up. And fast food, uh, QSR, fast food companies are simply not going to pay that amount of money. And that's really what the national chain representative told me. He likes this location. It modeled well in their software, but he said, uh, no way, two million, no way. Uh, he would rather we find him a piece of dirt and build a brand new restaurant um, to their specifications with, you know, two drive-throughs, yeah. uh, a, a uh, you know, yes. a small in dining area, just uh, the way they want, you know. No, no, it's perfect. Are you building it for a franchisee or for a corporate office? The corporation. Uh, actually, well, in this situation, they both provide a guarantee. Um, That's beautiful. The That's franchisee for this particular chain is, I believe he said their largest franchisee in the nation. That's and amazing. That's they're beautiful. One of, they're only one of two that do sale leasebacks. For some reason, most of theirs prefer to just own the building. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, but so anyway. okay. yeah, it's, it's not a problem to have a, a sale lease back. I mean, if they want to sell it and lease it back, the thing is, we um, we're interested in that in the vacant lot or in the vacant building, so we can place the tenants. If the tenants want to do it uh, with us, and they just want to, they say, "Hey, listen, we're willing to build. You find us the lots. Who's going to pay for the build out?" He, they want us to build, like you to build, or they want, uh, they will build themselves? Uh, I, I, the way I understand it, it's really about the terms. Um, usually they build it. Um, but if they're working in a situation where it's more advantageous for them to, you know, let us build it. But that seems to be a little bit trickier. It would, I think, be better if they just built their own building. Um, I wouldn't want to get into that with them because they're pretty picky about how they want it built. Yes. So maybe you can do, you can say, I'll get the land. You just pay your, spend your money on doing the build out. And then we can do a sale lease back because now when they do a sale lease back, we also have the land. So the value will still be for us uh, a, a very good value. We just let them tell us how much they want at there. Yeah. And, and that was the discussion I had with the sellers. I said, look, this is a great area. This is uh, growing, rapidly growing. The traffic is crazy. 50,000 cars a day. It's but amazing. your building is old. It's 15 years old. Wow. It only has one drive through. It's got a big in dining area. They don't want that anymore. And I sent him pictures of Taco Bell's new design of uh, Jack in the Box. I've collected some photos of what the new restaurants are going to look like. And they're okay. very different. They're very different. Okay. And so that helped them understand that their building is, it's out of date. It's its really out of date, so. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat the definition of sale lease back. So a franchisee, or if, let's say you guys, you guys, you buy a building, you put your business in it, so now the business is in your building, and then you sell the building 
but you sell it and you tell them that you choose to continue leasing in that building. So it's a sale, lease back. So I'm coming to buy your building for a million dollars and you say, that is a sale from the owner of the business, also not just the building. So it's a sale with a lease back and there is a lease that says, this building is sold with an existing lease of let's say 10 years at 8,000 a month plus 3% escalation and guaranteed by a personal guarantee from this uh, tenant who runs an ice cream shop, who runs an electronic shop. It's a, so that's called the sale lease back. I just want to be sure because a couple of people asked here again, what's the sale lease back? So what Alan is saying is we have an opportunity for this company that comes in, they want to build on a lot and then they want to sell the building and keep leasing in that building because they already built the building the way they want and they're operating their business, the chicken business or whatever burger business that they want. Now, I like the formula of having the land because it's the easiest and least amount of work. Having the land pretty inexpensive because it's a land, nobody knows the land value because it all depends what's gonna go on it. So you get the land and you already have a tenant interested to build on that. And then once, once they build and they wanna actually pay a land lease that you negotiate with them to give them the opportunity, you can sell that land because you have a lease from the building. So you're selling the land because it has an existing lease. They can actually sell the building as a land, the, the building is a sale lease back. So they usually will actually buy the land when they're done and then they can sell the whole thing, the land, which is called fee simple, the land with the building and it's called a sale lease back. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. You can rewind it and listen to it again, you will see. So Alan, good luck, keep us posted. I'm, I'm you know, happy to get on a call if it makes sense for them to do something, but I think you're more than competent to negotiate it the right way. Once you do one, you got the business model to repeat it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we have some self-storage development projects going and they're moving so very slow, it's, it drives me crazy. Um, I'm more of a add value, yes. you know, fix and flip it. Um, but uh, the pickings are really slim in that market and there's a lot of garbage properties. Um, and so uh, we're just gonna do a, a development or two. And we have a bank lined up who, because of the uh, comprehensive nature of the way we do our underwriting. Uh -huh. They've simply said to us, to Sally and I, anything uh -huh. that makes it through your underwriting, we will lend on it. I love uh, it. Because we're pretty we're pretty strict. But yeah, so this would just be for some quick cash. I, I'm not looking to hang okay. on to it. Keep us posted. Good luck. I will. Now.